<laughs> Hi everyone, first name Chris, last name Makeup here, and welcome back to the channel. As you can see, there is a different setup here. Um, I'm going to be starting my declutter today. Alright, so just letting you know, you know the usual, any background noise, it's a range of stuff. But right now my brother's playing video games and be doing YouTube. So my mom might say something in the background, my baby brother might say something. But anyways, I'm just going to get started. I have like, as you can see, I have like a bunch of freaking drawers over there. And like, you also see like lip products, which is like a whole another monster to tackle for another day. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to start with this drawer right here. This one contains like all my primers, foundations, setting sprays, and pressed powders. All right, let me just get into it. Um, for primers. Right now, I don't really, in general, I don't really see myself really getting rid of any of the primers I have. But I'm going to go through them. Anyway, so, um, alright, let's see, I have the NYX Angel Veil Primer, and a lot of people have been saying that this is a dupe to the Hourglass Veil Primer. Um, this has a very interesting texture. I can't describe it. I, mean, I like it. It's like borderline, like, sil those silicone ones, but it's not that gross texture. So, um, yeah, definitely would be keeping this. It's a nice primer. But I may have to, like, get a new one because, um, the shelf life of this is, like, six months. Unfortunately, I had to check my NYX, my order history and NYX on my account to see if, um, what exactly I need to replace it. So, yeah, this is a nice one. Um, we got my Maybelline Master Prime Blur and Smooth Primer. I like this one. I've been liking using this one for, um, my... Maybelline foundations. I might get the hydrating one, but this one I like this one so far. Um, let's see. Got the NYX Hydro Touch Primer. Definitely got this because of the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Foundation. I have oily combination skin. Um, and I know when I watched the video with Alyssa Ashley, there was um, if you have like dry skin, dry combination, just anything isn't like super oily, it's recommended that you get a hydrating primer and the Hydro Dutch primer really does work well with um the Can't Stop Won't Stop foundation. It's one of my favorite foundations, but we will get to foundation shortly after I go through the primers. So yes, highly recommend this. Plus this has a nice scent. Um all right so got the MAC prep and prime primer water <laughs> it's a fix plus so i use this for um my black opal foundation stick and it just made everything so much better because like um or i'll get to that later but yes i don't really use primer waters too often but i've been starting to use i would use them specifically if i have a stick foundation that kind of tugs on my skin it doesn't have like smooth buttery creamy glide on my skin so i would use a primer water to kind of loosen it up so yeah so far i was using this as you can see, I have used this quite a bit. I do want to use this again. It's nice. Um, let's see. Got two primers from Fenty. One I bought. The other I got in PR. Um, this is the one I bought. This is the original Instant Retouch Primer, I think. Yeah, this is the Instant Retouch Primer. Love this primer. Very nice. Soft, lotion-y scent. Holds my makeup together nicely. Um, and then this is the one I got in PR. The Hydrating Foundation. Yes. Honestly, I like the Hydrating Primer, too really nice i got this along with the hydrating foundation right here got that in the pr along with the brush i don't care for the foundation brush but this is also a very nice moisturizing watery texture and also that same nice lotiony smell that the instant retouch has i recommend both primers love they're both lovely um and then i have the ColourPop all-star matte and blur primer honestly i love this one very nice i smell food Anyways, um, yes, this is one of my favorite primers. I'm honestly not sure why it's one of my favorite primers, but to me, it's really nice. I like it. Don't worry, I'm going to be putting all these back. I'm just going through them to show y'all what I have. Um, okay, I have the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base. Ugh. Okay, actually, this is one I would declutter, but like, I'm pretty sure at some point, at this point, I'm either almost done with it or halfway through. All I know is that once I use all this up, I am not buying this again i can't stand the fucking smell of this shit <sighs> i mean i kind of i do and i simultaneously do and don't understand the hype of this primer i understand the hype of the primer in the sense that what it does because it does its job really well but i don't understand the hype of people saying that it smells good i hate the smell of oranges orange peels sometimes it makes me nauseous so yeah i'm gonna use this up but after that i'm never 
repurchasing this again, whether in this little size or the big jar. Never. Um, let's see. Do I have any more Okay. Yeah, but I think I have a couple more in here. I'm trying to look. Just making sure I cover everything. Uh, yeah, I have like two more primers in here. I have the Wet n Wild Cucumber 3 in 1 Primer Water. Um, they came out, I remember when they came out with like three cents. This one, Rose and Coconut. I bought the cucumber because it smelled the nicest to me. I used this recently with the Juvia's Place Stick Foundation. That's a pretty good job. So I hope to use this primer water more. Um, all right. And lastly, I have the Elf Poreless Putty Primer. This was the one that broke the fucking internet. And I've used this. This is a nice primer, I have to admit. But, like, I feel like there are a couple more primers from Elf that I want to try. But once I get, like, another primer, I'm keeping this. I'm definitely keeping this. I'm not getting rid of it. I, but I would focus it more on, like, my little porous areas. Like, um, not my under eye per se, but, like, my little the high points of my cheeks is where I have pores. So I could probably focus that there. So, yeah, I'm definitely keeping all my primers. Except, like... The Bobby Brown ones I use, I never purchase, repurchasing it again. But yeah, all my primers in air, but I like them. So, and it's not getting rid of them anytime soon. If I get rid of any of them, it'd be for like replacement because they're old. All right, so, anyways, foundations. Okay, so getting down and dirty. Some of these will be kind of pain me to get rid of. So, yeah, background noise. That's my brother watching a YouTube video. He likes to play shit out loud. I don't understand when guys do that. But, anywho, I digress. Foundations. Oh, good lord. It's like some kind of commentary. <laughs> but, all right. Foundations. So, first one I got right here. Well, not that I got, but, you know, first one up. The... Jesus Christ. All right. God. Why do I have brothers? Anyways. Um, this is a Maybelline Super Stay Foundation. Love this foundation. It's really nice. Um, I'm sorry. Like, if I go through, like, stuff, I'm, I'm not really good at, like, saying giving critiques on something I'm other than nice unless it's like one of my favorites but this is one of my favorites but it's not like a favorite favorite but I love using this for like festivals it's like a little festival foundation or like you know just going out or whatever this is a nice foundation for that um oh lord <laughs> okay I'm just gonna like and there are some foundations here that I do want to get rid of so I think I'm just gonna go down the line all right next I got the Fenty Beauty hydrating foundation um I'm not going to get rid of it. I'm going to use it up and I'm probably not going to repurchase this again because like, I mean, I, I like it, but it's not like my absolute favorite. I like the soft matte 10 times better and I'll get to that. But hydrating foundation, it looks nice on my skin, but, um, I don't know. I'm not a huge, huge fan of hydrating foundations, but I'm slowly like inching my way to them. But, um, all right, so this one, this particular one is 4, see, see, 420, and I also have 430, and I plan to use this one in February, so yeah, here's 430, this one right here is 430, and this one's 420, so I'm gonna use 420 first, if I run out of 420, I'm gonna use 430, but hydrating foundation, it's okay, not my favorite, um, okay, all right, Juvia's Place Foundation Stick, okay, this is a recent purchase, I like how it looks on me. This is the shade um, Abigen. Uh, please tell me the correct description in the um. Please tell me the correct pronunciation in the, the comments. It'd be much appreciated. But yeah, I like this so far. Um, it's just the whole thing with like you know. I guess kind of it's staying, staying power. I'm gonna try and figure that with the different primers and stuff that they use. But I like the stick foundation so far. I kind of like it more than the velvety matte foundation. But I'm gonna try and get that one more chance before I decide to like give it the axe but yeah so far i like the van this little stick foundation um there are a couple more stick foundations in general i want to try mainly the milk one and the mented one but hopefully i'll have be able to buy that throughout 2020 um ooh, yes okay so yes this is one of my favorites the nyx can't stop won't stop full coverage foundation this is in the shade coco um love this foundation it makes my skin look so nice um, especially with, um, you know, like I said, using my hy nice hydrating primer, but, um, this is a nice foundation. Um, I remember I was matched for this at Ulta. It said I was deep rich or something like that. It, this shit was too dark on me. Honestly, my lesson low key, don't get matched at Ulta. Don't do it because I want to shade down. This matched me perfectly. This was like perfect summer shade. So yeah, again, this is one of my favorites. I hope you have another opportunity to wear this again once it starts getting warmer. Because it's like a matte foundation. So, you know. You know what to do. 
Um, okay, you got stuff with that. Uh, this, oof, okay. It really pains me to do this, but I'm going to be decluttering this. This is the ColourPop No Filter Foundation. It's the liquid one. <sighs> it's a case of no matter how many, what I do with it, it just, it doesn't look good on my skin, like, at all. No matter what primer I use, whether it be, like, the ColourPop Matte Primer, a hydrating primer, nothing. ColourPop came out with a hydrating primer, and I want to use that to do with this one more time before I decide to really give it the boot. But the hydrating primer has fucking coconut oil in it. It's a communogenic, which clogs with fucking pores. And a hoe has oily skin. Well, oily combination. But, you know, I digress. But, yeah, I can't use this. And so I'm just going to declutter it. Kind of pains me to do it because, like, you know, this was one of their first foundations. And, like, you know, I really wanted to give it a chance because I liked it. But liked it at first, but now I'm just like, no. Just straight up no. Um, all right. Uh, yes. Fenty Beauty Soft Matte Foundation. Yes, bitch. I don't know. It's just, this is such a wonderful foundation. Beautiful foundation. Okay, I'm in the shade 430, by the way, for this one. Um, Lord, have I been saying, like, the other? Yes, I've been saying the others. Oh, no, I haven't said for the, um, Super Stay. Super Stay, I am 360 Mocha in that one. Yeah, because I'm, I'm trying to go through these down the lines I go. But yeah, this one is in 430. I love this foundation. It makes you look so, 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 so beautiful in pictures. Like, ugh, if I could put in the top five, this is number one. This will always be number one. Like, I can't wait to, again, this is another foundation I can't wait to use when it gets warmer. Because just, yes, I highly recommend. So all my oily skin combo, oily skin bitches and niggas out there, use this. It's like 10 out of 10, highly recommend. Yes. All right. Um, so ColourPop No Filter Stick Foundation. Love this. It's a nice oh little. My oh, Lord. Okay, this is the ColourPop No Filter Sticks in the shade Deep Dark 190C. I love this. To me, it's just my usual family function foundation. It's my little go-to. It's perfect for travel. Uh, it's lovely. I, highly, I do highly recommend this this little foundation stick. It's nice. I just wish that they came out with 42 shades just like they did with the liquid foundation. It's like a kind of keep that same energy type thing, but eh, I digress. Um, Let's see. This I'm actually going to declutter a shade of this particular foundation. Ooh, yeah, I'll be getting on this. So I'll be decluttering. This is the Elf Flawless Finish Foundation. I will be getting rid of the shade Espresso as it's too dark. And I will be keeping this. The shade I've been using is the shade Spice. This I've had, and you can tell I used the fuck out of this, but this, I had so many compliments on this foundation, like so many compliments on my face. Like, oh, your skin looks so nice, looks so beautiful. Yeah, this has an interesting texture on the face. I do like it, and I definitely am going to keep it because I do like it, and the sole purpose that I get so many compliments on the face with um, when I wear this foundation. So, yeah, this is a nice one. I do recommend it. Nice little satin finish for you. Um, it kind of pains me to get rid of this, but um, this is the Black Old Old True Color Stick, Stick Foundation. This is in the shade... Um, what is it? I'm trying to see. The shade Beautiful Bronze. I don't use this. I haven't really reached for this ever since I had my ColourPop uh, stick foundation. I don't know. I don't really... I keep thinking to myself, I could use this. One day I could use it. Honestly, fuck it. I'm going to keep it. I'm going to keep it. Forget it. Um. All right. I have the... Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation, also 360 Mocha. I really like this one. Been using this one quite a bit. Both of the foundations have looked really nice on me. This one and the Super Stay. So yeah, from a little oily skin, another one from my oily skin people combo oily skin. This is a nice foundation to get. Only thing I don't like about this, this has no pump. So if only they could like repackage the Fit Me stuff, the both the matte and poreless and the dewy and smooth. It'd be nice to repackage this with a pump. I much appreciate it with that. Okay. Um, Juvia's Place Eye Magic Velvety Matte Foundation. Um, This shade is too fucking dark. This is the shade Kano 150. I might try 230 Malawi, like what fi Foundation has um said. So I'm going to rock with that. At least I'm going to try. So for, for now, I'm decluttering this, but only because it's too dark. I'm going to give this one more chance with a hydrating primer, but after that... I'm going to give it the boot. Because, like, the times I put it on my face, it just what? didn't look good. What? It just did not look good. 
Oh, it's Lord. already in the oven. All right, anyways, moving on. Um, This is the L'Oreal Infallible 24-hour brush wear foundation. This is in the shade 525 Deep Golden. I love this. This is like one of my absolute favorite foundations. It's my go-to for festival. It's my go-to festival makeup because I've worn this to a bunch of concerts. Never left my face. Like, dude, I'm telling you, when they say fucking 24-hour breathable texture up to 24 hours, definitely. Believe it. Believe it. It's a lovely foundation. It makes, your, it makes you look so skin-like. If you have any imperfections and stuff, that will cover that shit right up. So, yeah. Highly recommend this one. Yes. Okay. Um, because I know I have like I think one more in here. No, I have two more. Okay. God, I have so much shit in here. It's crazy. Um. <laughs> oh, anyways. Um, last two right here. Um, I have this one from Maybelline. This is the Dream Satin Liquid Foundation. This is in the shade Coco. This is sadly the darkest shade in this. Ooh, and I have a cons I have a conspiracy theory about this. But um yeah, so far this this particular line I cannot recommend to you because this is the darkest shade, which is me, my skin color. I really hate this. Like there are people darker than me as there are people lighter than me. So like, you know, I feel like it wasn't wasn't doing the girl the pale skin girls any justice either. So um yeah. But anyways, there is a radiant there's a dream radiant liquid foundation that just came out from Maybelline. Well, I don't think it came out yet. I think it came out. But it's not gonna. It's not out everywhere. So I have a conspiracy that this, that, and this Dream Satin Liquid is the same shit. They just repackaged it and spread out the shades. I will do a video on this because they do have it in 360 Mocha. I'm gonna be using this in 360 Mocha and compare it. I'm gonna keep it. And honestly, I, I recommend this foundation in the sense that it's a really good formula. It is. Um, yeah, it's a really good formula. It feels nice in the face. If you want to get it, that's your decision, but I can't really recommend this because the shade range is complete shit. Um, but yeah, I'm going to do a little, com I might do a comparison video on it because there are still a couple of foundations with Maybelline I want to try. I haven't met a, I haven't met a Maybelline foundation I did not like so far. Um, and lastly, I have the Bobbi Brown Skin Long Wire Weightless Foundation, the SPF 15. Ooh, okay. At first when I looked at it, because, like, you know, at first, this was looming in my likes, my favorites in Sephora for the longest time. And then sometimes I'd look at the reviews. A lot of people were saying how it's sticky, about how it emphasizes texture, all this stuff like that. I didn't want to believe the people when they said, because sometimes you don't really don't want to believe the reviews. And then you get it. And it turns out the people who are reviewing it were right. Ugh. Okay. So, yeah, it definitely emphasizes texture on my pores. If it says my pores, it emphasizes texture on my chin. Uh, and it just, uh, man, I mean, part of me wants to use this up because like I want to get my money's worth out of this. And I still, I think I still have quite a bit in here. I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use it, use it up to get my money's worth. But other than that, I'm never repurchasing this again either. So yeah, Bobby Brown, you're not looking good, honey. All right. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to move on to press powders. This is easy. Um, I'm still gonna go through it though. So these are all my pressed powders I'm gonna keep. This is the one I want to declutter. I'm going to be decluttering the L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Powder. This is in the shade C8. It is cocoa. At first I was thinking, ooh, I could get like another shade because I saw something that kind of matched my skin tone. But then I remember, I don't like the texture of this. It's kind of um, how do you say it? like creamy for a powder, and I don't know how to describe it, but it's just. It's a fat ass no from me. I'm decluttering this for sure. Um, anyways, all the powders I'm keeping that I like. Um, you know, first, this is my OG one. This is the NYX No Filter Finishing Powder in the shade Deep Golden. Lovely, lovely setting powder. I highly recommend this. This is a nice dupe to um, the Sephora Micro Smooth. If, like, you know, you feel like the Sephora Micro Smooth is a little too expensive, you can always rock with this. In this particular product, there are shades that are always on sale no matter what. So yeah, if your shade is on sale, take advantage. But I feel like they're kind of reducing the shades and kind of discontinuing a bunch of shades too, which is sad. I hope they don't do that because like I really love this one and I want to buy a refill because I feel like um I also feel like I might be running low product wise. But all right, anyways, um uh, speaking of Sephora Micro Smooth, yep, 
another one of my favorites this one right here i've seen Alyssa ashley and andre renee talk about this shit and like crazy because i watch them and just like you know this is in the shade um deep ebony well it's deep ebony right here but deep right here it's kind of confusing but yes i love this one another one of my favorites so i highly recommend this one um this one okay this is a milani pressed powder in the shade pecan right here oh my god if you do not like fragrances steer clear of this pressed powder honestly this does do the job really good it's just strong ass smell but it wears off after a bit trust me once you get your setting spray on and everything it will go away but yeah if you if fra if your nose is sensitive if or if you are sensitive to fragrance do not get this steer clear of this but i like it lastly i have the covergirl true blend um pressed powder this is in translucent sable this is a recent purchase and i've been liking it so far so yeah these four you know they're staying they're like a couple more pressed powders i'm gonna get all right last i have setting sprays all right okay so let me start with the nyx bear with me setting spray i like this as far as like with nyx products i like it i'm gonna try and experiment with other brands but so far this is a really lovely setting spray that holds the makeup together nicely um all right so yeah there's that i have good old um milani make it last you can see this is an og and i love it so much i was given it was also when i bought some stuff from milani i got like a little free gift <laughs> with the new packaging because you know they redesigned everything because this is the one with the old packaging this is the new packaging for a comparison for y'all um but yeah i definitely am going to use this this is next time i think like I said, I'm contemplating going to Buku this year, but that's another story for another time. This is an OG. I highly recommend this stuff. Even though people complain that it's like spraying water in your face, it will get the job done. It will hold your makeup together all day. I can't recommend this enough. Lovely. All right. We got the e.l.f. Um, Beauty Shield Daily Defense Makeup Mist. I like this. I like this combined with like other setting sprays. I've used this as a setting spray with e.l.f. products and it does hold the makeup together pretty good. So, um, yeah, it's <laughs> that one. Um, we got the ColourPop All-Star set Face Setting Spray. This one, I don't recommend if you're doing like a date of ripping and running around and stuff like that. I only recommend this if you're just hanging, doing a simple hangout with friends or something like that. If you're like going out, running errands in the heat or something like that, don't use this spray. This is for something simpler. This is a spray for simpler times. Um... This one, ooh, okay, so Maybelline Lasting Fix. I purchased this recently. This is a nice setting spray as well. Um, yeah, does hold the makeup together. I've used it with other brands. It mixes pretty well. Uh, let's see. All right, the Remel Stay Matte Fix and Go 2 in 1 setting spray. Love this one. Also, very nice for like festival makeup. I've used this for like going to a festival, so. Held the makeup together all day. I highly recommend that one. I think, ooh, I've seen Andrea Renee talk about this one. So, yeah, this is nice. Um, Freaking Urban Decay. <sighs> I have mixed feelings about this. It's like part of me wants to like it. Part of me doesn't care for it. So, um, I don't know. I might not purchase another one of this, another one of these. I'm not sure. Because, I mean, I'm almost out of this one. So, I'm contemplating buying another one. I I might. I might not. It does an okay job of holding makeup together. But, all right. Moving on. I already know. Where is it? Where is it? I'm decluttering this piece of shit. This is the matte, NYX Matte Finish Long Lasting Setting Spray. Didn't do shit. Even with NYX products. It did not do shit. So, I hate this. Fuck it. I'm glad that this Bear With Me spray is a nice replacement. I was looking for a nice replacement for um the uh for that spray. And so yeah. So yeah, this all this stuff. This is like basically my whole collection of all this what? stuff. Oh lord. And then this is the stuff I'm decluttering from no. here. And uh, thank you so much for watching. Um, you know, like, subscribe, do whatever, but just no, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.